All right, welcome back, everyone. I'm Patrick. I hope you guys are all doing great out there today. This is just a wonderful day for Bitcoin. I mean, we are seeing some of the all-time highs. Right now, Bitcoin's here, like sitting around, I think it is $22,700. There's a lot of bullish momentum going on. And I think there's a push right now to drive it up to 30 k and why do I think it's 30K and it's going to go there? Well, I've, there's already been articles from about 11 months ago that said Bitcoin is going to go up and up and up to about 30K by the end of this year. And the end of this year is happening now. We're seeing Bitcoin rising just insane prices. If you look right here in the last 24 hours, I think it went like, oh my God, it's, it's, it's going crazy, guys. It's literally, this is, we've never seen it go like this before. We're seeing 2017 on steroids. It's literally on steroids now. So we can see it right here at uh, 19,600 all the way up to 22,725. That is a big jump. So what's this bullish momentum? Um, they're saying that basically this Bitcoin bullish momentum, it's up 7.86% right now. There's a lot of things pushing it. Let me see if I can share the article that I want to show you guys here. This is what I want to share with you. It says, at Bitcoin, as Bitcoin shoots past this 22K, analysts already see it reaching 30K. So what's going to make it hit this 30k? Well, a lot of it, a lot of it is having to do with a lot of investors coming in. In um, let me show you. Hold on, this, the bullish momentum is right here. They are saying that basically, as Bitcoin passes this uh, 22, 20 thousand dollar mark and dizzying rally, uh, the Bitcoin crosses above 20,000, 20, its second major milestone in recent weeks at the coin in November. They're saying that. Um, where is it? Right here. Oh, yeah. All aboard billionaires, bad and wagon. So basically, the billionaires are coming out saying that as Bitcoin from its mining algorithm, from the scarcity that it underpins from its mining algorithm, you can see right here, to the behavior of holders who refuse to abandon their investment, no matter how long it goes, it helps push up the price higher in the boom times. It does not matter to prevent the tumble when whales cash out. That's reminiscent of wealthy investors climbing aboard the bandwagon, such as Paul Tudor Jones, who compared Bitcoin to investing in Google early. Even if they get burdened with a big bet, it's money they won't miss. So, just so you guys don't know who Paul Tudor is, let me just show you real quick. He has, he's been really bullish on a lot of uh, Bitcoin. And Paul Tudor Jones right here is an American billionaire, head funds, conservationist, philanthropist. And he does talk about Bitcoin all the time. Let me try to find a Bitcoin article of him. Here, here it is right here. So Paul Tudor Jones, uh, um, head fund manager, says uh, this is one of the main head fund managers of Wall Street. He basically says we're seeing a birthing of the store of value in Bitcoin. It's a great speculation. He believes he said that he has just over one percent of his assets in Bitcoin. Every day that goes by, that Bitcoin survives, the trust in it will go up. So as as uh, you know, as these uh, Bitcoin gets to like twenty three thousand, and we're heading toward the thirty k which I think it's going to hit. Um, these people are saying that the trust is going up in all the institutional investors. They're basically trying to hedge it. All these investors are hedging their and institutional investors are hedging uh, uh, Bitcoin against inflation. They're basically realizing that um, uh, the demand is going up just, just between uh, people trying to diversify their portfolios and have just new things to just like a new way, a uh, new store of value as the fiat currency goes down. So yeah, I think it'll definitely hit 30 grand guys i mean it's very 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 close to going that way right now this could be the mark where we actually set up to go to that fifty thousand dollar bitcoin um if you look right here what else i want to show you let's see here for investors who have followed jones success in predicting paths of economic events including his prescient bets against the u.s stock markets in 1987 his foray in cryptocurrency may seem unusual but Jones defended his new investment, especially versus other stores of value like the U.S. dollar. Modern government-backed currencies, he argued, will always diminish in value over time. There it is right there. You can see it. Um, and basically, many investors shy away from cash over long term as legislators continue to spend more than they generate in revenues and lean on central banks to pumping cash in the economy. That's like the Federal Reserve that's dumping in money. They just basically up the ones and zeros in the bank account. We know that Bitcoin is a limited supply, so it's a diverse. So basically, the demand is going up, and the halving helped out a lot. Like, there's just a lot of stuff that happens. 
If you take out cash on the other hand, you think about it from the purchasing power standpoint. If you own cash in the world today, you know the central bank has a goal of depreciating its value of 2% per year. Bitcoin, he's saying on the other hand, isn't whims, isn't subject to the whims of the government spending, but itself is risky because it's only 11 years old. He confirmed that his portion of a his portfolio is invested in gold, a popular inflation hedge, and said that he thought that metal could go substantially higher. When I think of Bitcoin, I look at it as one tiny part of my portfolio. And this was in, let's see when this article was in. I think it was a while ago, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this was in May, guys. So now he's even saying again some, some more huge bull statements that it's going to keep going. And if you look right here, let's go back up. All right. Hold on one second. All right. Bitcoin will surface $1 billion in Allen's, Allen's backing. According to Bloomberg, Mike Novitz, they're saying that uh, the Calvary is coming for the for Bitcoin only to watch um, as Bitcoin like passes this twenty thousand dollar mark. We're seeing a lot of these these institutional investors come in. Uh, we have Mass Mutual. We have uh, what are the other ones? There's PayPal. Square is operating it. Um, there's just all kinds of different ones coming in. Bitcoin extends its recovery. This is just more info. I want to tell you right there. Let me see if there's anything else I want to share with you guys. I think I had it up here. All right. Yep. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, so that's it, guys. I just think that Bitcoin is, we're definitely going to hit this this value. This is a really good store of value. You know, I'm, I'm excited. I'm very excited. Bitcoin is on the rise. So make sure, let's just take one more look at that before we go here. I, I've been looking at it nonstop. I literally, sometimes you just can't stop looking because you just want, I just feel like we're going to make so much money on this time on Bitcoin. You know, this is this is the reminiscent of the 2017 bull run that we saw before. Look at that right there. Hopefully by morning, that's like a $25,000 Bitcoin. And then all the way up by Christmas, we'll get up to that $30,000, $30, $50,000 mark. So that's it, guys. The bulls are coming in for Bitcoin. I love you all. Thank you for watching. Send a comment. Do you guys think it's going to go up to thirty grand? Do you think it's going to go up to fifty? Do you think that... You know, these people, the the economy, the economy, basically all these central bankers are just printing up money and, you know, they're telling small businesses to close and they're telling people they're going to force them with like vaccines and all this stuff. What, what do you think the what do you think the problem is here with, with fiat currency? Do you think that we are seeing a huge inflation and we're going to see Bitcoin go up? Tell me in the comments down below, like or subscribe and message me on Facebook. Thank you for watching the Patrick channel. I'm going to stay. I'm going to keep you guys very updated on all the, all the news as it happens.